guys, how's it going? So today I want to talk about two things in particular. The first one, I was starting to read this book, The Condor Heroes, by um, an author in Hong Kong, Hong Kong called Jin Yong, who's a famous wuxia novel, which is like martial arts sort of fiction. Um, and I, I kind of had to put this on hold because it was too difficult, basically. And I wanted to talk about what I'm kind of doing to get around that and then the plan to kind of come back to it later and what I'm sort of thinking with that. And the second thing that's kind of related to that is I ordered some new books off of um, Books Taiwan, the website, and I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about what it was like ordering books, paperback books online from overseas from Taiwan to England. First of all, before I talk about actually my experience trying to read Jin Yong's Wuxia novels, first I want to talk about what it's like to order books from Taiwan back to the UK overseas because I know a lot of people in the UK, especially now because we can't go to shops with the pandemic and everything, find it quite hard to, if you like reading paperback books, can find it quite hard to find, you know, Chinese books to read, to buy in the UK or other countries. So it was my first time using um, books.com.taiwan, I think it's called, or the Chinese name, Borka Lai. And I'll leave links to everything I talk about in the description. It was the first time using that. And um, so first of all, there's two cool things about the website. The first one is before you buy the book, and I'll kind of show a quick video here. Before you buy the book, you can basically click on a little button which gives you a preview that you can read on your computer online. Um, and basically that gives you an idea of difficult level and also what the type of content of the book is, if you like it or not. So before, you know, you pay for the book and you also pay probably a lot of money for delivery fee. It tends to be better if you order in bulk um, for the delivery fee, at least. Then you can kind of read through and see if it's at your level or not, see if you're interested or not. So that's something I'd recommend doing and checking out. I ordered the books online on the night of the 18th of January here in England. And that's about 3 a.m. I think it was about 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Taiwan time on the 19th of January. So in their time, they received an order on the 19th. And the books arrived on the Friday at lunchtime, which was the 22nd of January. Um, so you're talking, you know, between four, five, six days. I think it was, I think it was five days for me to get books from Taiwan to England. Now that's really, really quick. And the great thing, and again, I'll show some pictures of what I'm talking about here, is that with DHL, they have, it's incredibly easy to track everything that's going on. So what they do is they'd send you an email um, saying your order's been placed. And then from the Books Taiwan website, you can click on a link, you get a DHL track number, you click through the link on the DHL website, and they give you all the most recent updates in terms of where it is in terms of tracking your packet. So that's really, really useful. So all in all, the experience was super easy. It was really actually very stress-free, very easy. You know exactly what was happening. And yeah, it was, yeah, really good. And I'm really happy with the result. And I'm really happy by the looks of the books that I ordered. And I ordered two series. Again, I'll show pictures. The first one is called, um, the Chinese name is Da Hua Shanghai Jing, which is kind of just, I don't know how to translate. I guess maybe it's kind of just fantasy slash swoosh novels taking a lot of mythology from things like the Shanghai Jing, but also putting it into a modern set of seven books. So I've got a total of seven of this series and each is about 250 pages long, 260, 70 pages long, I think. And yeah, the, the, I've read a bit of the excerpt of the first few pages online and the writing style is not that complicated at all. It's, you know, it's quite, quite easy to follow. There's obviously a lot of, there's obviously a lot of vocab that I don't know in terms of names of, demons and whatever but i think in terms of the general writing style and the grammar and the way they use the words it's not actually that difficult so it's probably a good way for me to start picking up some of these words in a context that's not too hard um unlike say jin young's novels when i found it you know quite hard to uh, understand and i'll talk a bit about that a bit more later the second series i bought was this one which is again i'll leave a link in the description but it's i think is originally there was a cantonese um set of Cantonese comic books published in Hong Kong called, I think the English name is City of Darkness. And um, I, I'd sort of heard about the comic books before. I know a lot of people in Hong Kong talk about it, but then I never actually realized there was a set of novels as well. So there's three books in a series. So I decided to 
buy them. So then I've got them and I'll be going through them later. Now, I want to talk a bit about um, Jin Young's novels. So the one that I was trying to read here, this is a gift from that Muse got me for my, for Christmas. And the Chinese name is She, she Diao Ying Shong Chen, which the English name I think is um, the Condor Hero, wait, The Legend of the Condor Heroes. And this book has basically been equated to being the Chinese Lord of the Rings. There's four books in this. So this, this first novel is actually, this is the first book out of four. So I've only got the first book of the trilogy. Each one of these is about 400 pages long. So the first book in the trilogy, if you can count all the four books together in the story, is 1,600 pages. Then they've got three books. So you know, you're talking about thousands of pages if you include the whole thing. Now, I've only got the first four, which is the first book of the series in the trilogy. And yeah, I think apart from, you know, just being um, like intimidating in terms of the length of it, the other thing is that they use quite a lot of older language. So, you know, stuff that we wouldn't really use in uh, modern novels or that wouldn't necessarily, no one really talks like that now. So it's all kind of got that bit of an older flavor to it. And he writes stuff. And apart from that, you know, there's also a lot of historical references and stuff like that, that he mentions is all set in different times, you know, and you have to understand a bit of historical context behind what's going on to fully grasp the story, which I don't get a lot of it. Um, and obviously, apart from that, it's, it, his, his writing technique is very good and he pulls from a lot of experience. He, you know, he, the, the words he uses in the vocabularies and the, you know, the amount of words in the book is actually quite high. So I think all of those things made it quite hard for me to read. What am I going to do? What's my plan to try and make it better? So I think for now, I'm going to put this series aside and I'll be probably coming back in maybe about half a year or so. Um, probably probably about half a year to try and reread it again. And the basic plan is, so the first thing that I did is this is really cool tool called Chinese Text Analyzer. And I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll probably create a separate video showing how I did this for anyone that's interested. Um, but basically what you can do is this text analyzer, if you get any book as a Word document, so all of Jin Young's novels are actually free to download on howdo.net. I just wanted to try reading the paperback version because I like uh, real books, like paperback books, but you know, it's free to download if you want to give it a go. So I downloaded the e ebook of the website, converted it to a Word document. And what you can then do is you can import it into a tool called Chinese Text Analyzer. And the basic function of this is it would tell you exactly how many unique words and unique characters are in this specific book. And what it actually does is spits out a frequency list at the bottom with the most common words at the top and the least common words at the bottom. So, you know, the most common words would be things like the names of the protagonist or the character de, and that's like thousands or one or 2000 times in the book. And then, you know, going down right down to the bottom when there's words or characters that have only appeared once. So what you can do is you can then filter out words you know. So if you use this Chinese text analyzer a lot, it's similar to Link in the way that it tracks the words you know and don't know. Um, Cause it was my first time using it. I, have, it doesn't know that for me, but what you can do is you can just feed it a frequency list or feed it a list of words and tell you, you know, the words for that. So inbuilt into the program, there's all the HSK lists and there's a TOCFL list. So what I basically did was say, right, assume I know the TOCFL four words and then take them out. So that'll take all of like the low level, easy, easier vocab that I probably do already know. Maybe there's a few that miss, but it'll take out the bulk of that. And then it'll get left with the unknown words or in theory unknown words um, that are in the book in list of frequency with the most frequent at the top and least frequent at the bottom. So what I did after that is you can then export it to Excel and then from Excel, you can save it as a CSV file. And then you can, as well as exporting just the character, you also can get the English translation, the opinion, an example sentence for the first time it's used in the book. And then, you know, you can export all that as a CSV file and then import that into Anki. So what you get using this Chinese text analyzer tool is from an ebook, you can get an Anki deck of unknown words with example sentences from the book in order of the frequency they appear in the book with the most common ones appearing at the front of the deck. I think I exported all the words that appeared 10 times or more, which was about 300 or 400 that are higher than TOCFL4 and create an Anki deck for it. So what I'm going to be doing over the next few months is just reviewing the the cards at Anki and kind of going through that. A lot of the ones that are coming up are, you know, words that I already do know, or just quite, quite things that 
are actually quite common, just not covered by the TOCFL exam. So the RAM ended up deleting quite a few, quite a few. Um, but hopefully by repping the cards and doing that in a few months' time, it will be in a position where I can comprehend a lot more of the sort of language he uses and know at least the bulk of the words that I use and then, you know, the bulk of the most common words that I use in the book. Now, the second thing that I want to do in the next few months is I wanted to start watching more um, TV dramas for that sort of wuxia genre. So I've already been watching a few now. I'm watching one at the moment. Um, but a lot of Jin Young's books, including The Condor Heroes, is actually available for free YouTube uh, series on, available for the entire TV series for free on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is, before I go back and reread the book again, I'm going to watch the TV series first, so then I have a bit of context for the story, because the TV series is going to be a lot easier for me to understand than the novel. Um, and then the third thing I was going to do is just to try and read a lot. So I've, as I just said before, there's these two series that I've ordered from Bookstore. And again, I'll leave a link to them in the description if anyone's interested. So I'm going to be trying to read through them. There's a total of 10 books for that. Um, and I was going to say maybe if I could get through that within the next half a year, but I don't know if that's pushing it or not, or if I would actually realistically get through it or not. Because also what I think one thing I did want to do is I've actually through doing a bit of research online, I was looking at what is Jin Young's shortest books, his shortest novels, his shortest stories. And I've got, you know, uh, five books that I was able to download for free online, um, all with audiobooks for every single one of them. Um, and also some of them have for the, not, not the two shortest, but the ones after that, three, four, and five also have TV series as well. So what I'm going to do before I go back to the Condor, um, trilogy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some of the shorter uh, books while I listen to the audiobook as well and also try to watch the TV shows if they have one. So what I'm going to do is I will create a Word document with links to where I've downloaded all of these things. So the, um, and then I'll put the Word document in the description for anyone's interested and I'll order it in terms of shortest to like longest out of those shortest five books that he's done. So the first one, the shortest one is a PDF, which is 18 pages long, which is called Yue Nu Jian. And I actually read that. It was, yeah, only 18 page PDF. So I read that in the last two days. I was listening to the audiobook as well. There's not a TV drama for that one, as far as I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably read one book from like the, um, Da Hua Shanghai Jing series. And then I'm going to alternate probably between. In, unless I get really into one of them, I'll probably alternate between the Shanghai Jing series and the Jin Yong shorter novels. Because the Jin Yong ones, you know, they're quite short. The first, shortest one's 18 pages, then I think 30 pages, then 60 pages in terms of a PDF. And then the last two, I think, are maybe 100 and 250 pages. So the last two are actually quite long, but it's still much, much shorter than the actual Condo trilogy. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go through re reading the Jin Yong so first, and I'm going to watch the series for them with the audiobooks while going through the Anki deck. And then when I've watched all of those dramas for the shorter books, I'm going to watch the Condor trilogy drama. And then by the time, hopefully by half a year later, when I come back to reading Jin Young, then I think um, hopefully I'll be in a much better position to actually understand it. And yeah, so in case, so also one thing that might be useful as well as reading other like similar genre books that are less difficult. So that's why I've said I've got the Shanghai Jing and, um, well, the, the one from Hong Kong is less similar. It's more about tribes, but it's still got going to have a lot of that sort of fighting vocab. But if anyone's interested, there is a Taiwanese author, um, by the name of Div, D I V. And you can find a lot of his books on Books Taiwan or some of them are available on How Do for free to download. And I read one of his books a while ago. It was in the first 10 books read, I read in Chinese video called, what was it? Shuang Jian. Chuan Shuo, I think. And here's a few, um, you know, Wuxia type books. And I think it's so much easier than someone like Jin Yong. So if that's the genre that you're trying to get into, I think his books are actually quite popular in Taiwan. They are a lot written a lot more similar to how modern Chinese is written now. So if that's something you're interested in, um, I'll, I'll again leave some links for that below. So, but yeah, that's the plan. So let me know if you have any questions about that I, again i will plan on making a video about two things the 11 the, the the next 10 books i read which was 11 to 20 and because i've read 21 now and i haven't actually made that video and also i'll plan on making a video about the chinese text analyzer so 
yeah, that, that's um, some of the videos that I'm planning on coming up. If you've got any other questions, let me know. Um, I'm always happy to answer any answer and read all of them if I can. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.